see. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. Yes, O oh Lord. Restore to me, O oh, restore to me the joy of your salvation. Yes, O oh Lord. Restore to me. May God restore unto you this day the joy of his salvation in Christ Jesus. Amen. May he be restored this day, the joy of the salvation of God this day in your marriages. Amen. May the Lord restore unto you the child of God, the joy of his salvation in your businesses. Amen. May he restore unto you this day, this Thursday morning, the joy of his salvation this day in your children. Amen. Yes, in that your health challenge, may God restore unto you this day, the joy of his salvation. Yes, in this year business, in this year financial issues. In this year, economic issues, may the Lord restore unto you this day the joy of his salvation. Yes, in your workplaces, may he restore unto you the, the joy of his salvation in Christ Jesus. Your child of God, have you experienced the power in the blood of Jesus? Have you been sleeping in the night and you have challenges and you begin to shout, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus? Have you ever experienced that? There is power in that blood. There is power in that name, Jesus. Because he's telling us this day that we overcome the enemy by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. There is power in the blood of the Lamb. The blood that was shed on, on the cross of Calvary for you. There is power in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. Yes, there is power mighty in the blood. Yes, there is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ, oh, there is power mighty in the blood, in the blood, oh, there is power, power, wonder walking power in the blood, yes, of the Lord, yes, there is power, oh, power. Oh, wonder walking power in the precious blood of the Lamb. And the word says in Hebrew 12, verse 24, that the blood of Jesus speaks better things than the blood of Abel. That blood is still speaking. This is the prayer for each other, God, as we are closing. May the blood of Jesus speak for you this day in your marriages, amen. May the blood of Jesus speak this day for you in your womb, amen. May the blood speak for you this day in your children, amen. May the Lord speak for you this day in your health, this day, and bring unto you health and healing, everlasting prosperity in Jesus' name. May the Lord speak for you this day, child of God, in your workplaces, amen. May the Lord speak for you this day, child of God, in your foundation, because his word says this day unto you in Psalm 11, verse 3, if the foundation is 40, if the, if the foundation is 40, what can the righteous do? This day, may the Lord hear your 40 foundation. May the, Lord, may the blood of Jesus hear your foundation this day in Jesus' name. May the Lord, may the blood this day speak for you. In your finances, in your economy. May the Lord speak for you this day in your finances. May the Lord speak for you this day, child. May the Lord speak for you. May the Lord speak for you this day and give you breakthrough, 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 breakthrough in your business. May the Lord speak breakthrough. May the Lord, may the Lord speak breakthrough. May the Lord speak breakthrough this day into your life, into your life, into your life. Breakthrough in marriages, breakthrough in businesses, breakthrough in your health, breakthrough in all that concerns you, breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Receive the power. Receive the healing power of God at this very hour, praying Jesus' thing. Yes, open your mouth and say, I receive it more than enough. Yes, we are closing at this hour. Tomorrow again, you'll be with us. Make sure you be with us tomorrow again, being Friday. Being Friday, the last working day of the week. Be with us tomorrow by 7.30 a.m. West African time for our morning declaration prayers. August is moving very fast, but we are equally moving with our God because the Spirit of God is speaking. Yes, tonight, make sure you light up your candle. As you light up the candle, you declare the word of God. You declare the word of God in Isaiah 60. Arise and shine, for the light has come. Because he's telling us this day that holiness is upon this fire. That holiness is on the fire. Holiness is on that fire, says the Lord. Yes, light up a candle tonight. Pray his words in Isaiah 60. Claim all the blessings of Isaiah 60. Keep saying it as you read every verse of Isaiah 60. Keep saying, I receive more than enough. There shall be manifestation in your life. There shall be manifestation in your life in Jesus' name. As they're saying it, you are declining his words in Psalm 24. As they're saying it, you place your hands on the ground, on the ground of your floor, and declare the word of God in Psalm 24. Yes, let every ancient doors be opened up that the King of Lord may come in. Yes, let every blessing of your that is buried in the ground be uprooted, be uprooted, be permitted in Jesus' name. Yes, as they are declaring, they are declaring the word of God in Exodus chapter 3, verse 2 to 5. Yes, keep saying it because in that burning bush, in the burning bush, in the burning bush, 
Yes, Moses encountered the Lord. May you encounter the Lord. Yes, 